Welcome to Raccoon City, a ticking time bomb of terror. This once bustling metropolis is now the epicenter of a nightmare, a city gripped by a horrifying outbreak of the T-Virus, a bio-organic weapon unleashed by the sinister Umbrella Corporation. The city's streets, once full of life, are now crawling with the undead and other monstrous creatures born from the virus. In the midst of this chaos, we find Jill Valentine, a former member of the elite Special Tactics and Rescue Service, or STARS for short. Jill is a survivor, a seasoned veteran who made it out of the mansion incident in the first Resident Evil. But this time the stakes are even higher. The entire city is her battlefield, and every corner holds a potential threat. As the city crumbles around her, Jill's mission is clear, escape. But it's easier said than done. The city is a maze of death, and the undead are not the only threat lurking in the shadows. Parallel to this pandemonium, another tale of terror unfolds. The events of Resident Evil 2 are happening simultaneously, painting a grim picture of a city on the brink of annihilation. But our focus remains on Jill, her struggle for survival, and the relentless terror that pursues her. Enter Nemesis, Umbrella's most fearsome creation yet. A towering intelligent tyrant, Nemesis is on a single-minded mission to eliminate any remaining STARS members and keep Umbrella's dark secrets safe. This terrifying bioweapon is hot on Jill's trail, turning her already desperate escape into a deadly game of cat and mouse. In this city of the damned, every second counts. Every decision could mean life or death. Jill must use her wits, her skills, and whatever resources she can find to evade Nemesis and navigate the horrors of the city. As chaos reigns, Jill's fight for survival begins, relentlessly pursued by Umbrella's most fearsome creation yet. This is the beginning of the end, the start of a nightmare that will push Jill to her limits and beyond. Welcome to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Enter Nemesis, Umbrella's monstrous solution to a PR nightmare. This hulking beast, a tyrant of terrifying power and intelligence, is the corporation's answer to the exposure of their dark secrets. A bio-organic weapon of mass destruction, Nemesis is dispatched with a single chilling objective, to eliminate the remaining STARS members, the very people who could reveal the corporation's involvement in the T-Virus outbreak. Nemesis is no ordinary foe, it's a relentless stalker, a constant shadow in the game, always lurking just out of sight, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Its presence raises the stakes, transforms the city's crumbling streets into a deadly game of cat and mouse. For Jill Valentine, the former STARS member and our protagonist, evading this formidable adversary becomes a harrowing part of her quest for survival. Jill, a survivor of the mansion incident from the first Resident Evil, is no stranger to the horrors birthed by the Umbrella Corporation. Yet the nemesis presents a new kind of nightmare. It's not just an enemy to be defeated, but a relentless pursuer that instills a sense of dread and urgency in every step she takes through the decaying city. Throughout the game, Jill must confront this beast head on. Each encounter is a battle for survival, a test of her resolve. But more than that, these confrontations serve to unmask the true nature of the Umbrella Corporation. The Nemesis, in its single-minded pursuit, reveals the depths to which the Corporation will sink to protect its secrets, even if it means unleashing a monster upon its own city. As the city falls deeper into chaos, Nemesis becomes a symbol of Umbrella's recklessness and disregard for human life. It's a constant reminder of the Corporation's dark machinations and the lengths it will go to keep its actions hidden from the world. In the shadows of Raccoon City, Nemesis lurks, ever watchful, ever relentless. Its monstrous form haunts the ruined streets, a chilling embodiment of the deadly game of survival that Jill must navigate. With each step, with each breath, the spectre of the Nemesis looms, making every moment in Raccoon City a fight against fear itself. In the midst of chaos, unlikely alliances are formed. As Raccoon City succumbs to the T-Virus, Jill Valentine crosses paths with Carlos Oliveira, a member of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, or UBCS. Ostensibly, the UBCS are there to help. They're a private military organization, mercenaries really, hired by Umbrella to contain the outbreak and save the civilians. But as the city descends further into madness, Carlos and his team begin to suspect something much darker. The orders they've been given, the priorities they've been set, all point to one chilling fact. 
Umbrella seems more interested in covering its tracks than saving lives. The corporation's true intentions start to emerge from the shadows, and the UBCS find themselves questioning their loyalties. In a world where the dead walk, alliances are tested, and betrayal lurks around every corner. But in a city overrun with the undead, trust is a luxury few can afford. In the heart of the storm, Umbrella's true colors bleed through. As the desperate struggle for survival intensifies, a sinister betrayal unfolds. Nikolai Zinoviev, the commanding officer of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, reveals his true allegiance. This man, supposed to be a beacon of security amidst the chaos, is nothing more than a puppet in the hands of Umbrella, pulling strings to cover up the corporation's heinous deeds. His treachery cuts deep, driving a wedge between the survivors. Trust, an already scarce commodity in Raccoon City, becomes a luxury Jill and Carlos can ill afford. Betrayed by their own, they find themselves navigating through a city teetering on the brink of collapse, now more alone than ever. They must face hordes of zombies and other bio-organic weapons, their path to survival made even more treacherous by Umbrella's machinations. Umbrella's treachery marks a grim turning point in the fight for survival. As the clock ticks down, Raccoon City spirals further into nightmare. The once bustling metropolis, now a ghost town, is teeming with the undead and monstrous bio-organic weapons, all products of Umbrella's reckless experimentation. The city's streets, once filled with life, now echo with the haunting cries of its former inhabitants, the living turned into the living dead. But the horror of the T-virus outbreak is only the beginning. As if the city hasn't suffered enough, a missile strike looms, part of Umbrella's desperate attempt to erase evidence of their unforgivable experiments. The clock is ticking, and every second counts. The city, once a symbol of humanity's progress, is now a ticking time bomb. They cut down the undead, navigate through the labyrinthine city, and confront the horrors that Umbrella has unleashed upon the world. Their journey is a testament to the human spirit, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. But the city's fate is sealed. As the missile strikes, the city is consumed in a blinding light, a chilling testament to the destructive power of human folly. The buildings crumble, the streets shatter, and in an instant, Raccoon City is no more. The city's fall is a grim reminder of the cost of unchecked ambition and unethical experimentation. Yet amidst the rubble and ruins, hope persists. Jill and Carlos, against all odds, endure. They stand at the precipice of destruction, their eyes set on the future, ready to face whatever comes next. Their journey is far from over. With the city on the brink of annihilation, Jill's final confrontation looms. The stage is set for a showdown that will echo through the annals of horror gaming. The fall of Raccoon City is but a prelude to the horror yet to come. In the depths of Umbrella's lair, a final stand awaits. The climax of Resident Evil 3 is a testament to the sheer willpower of our protagonist, Jill Valentine. As if the horrors of Raccoon City weren't enough, she finds herself in the belly of the beast, the Umbrella Underground Laboratory facing off against her relentless pursuer, Nemesis. Nemesis, a grotesque embodiment of Umbrella's sinister intent, has evolved throughout their encounters, becoming more dangerous and more mutated with each face-off. Yet Jill stands undeterred. She's not just fighting for her survival anymore. She's fighting for the truth, for justice, and for all of Raccoon City. In this final confrontation, Jill uses an experimental railgun to defeat Nemesis, a fitting end for the bioweapon sent to silence her. But it's not just a victory over Nemesis, it's a triumph over the Umbrella Corporation, the orchestrator of this nightmare. In the face of overwhelming odds, Jill stands victorious, but the battle is far from over. In the ruin of Raccoon City, the true cost of Umbrella's ambition is laid bare. Jill Valentine and Carlos Oliveira, two survivors amidst the chaos, make their desperate escape from the city's crumbling infrastructure. The laboratory, once a testament to Umbrella's dark scientific prowess, now lies in ruins, destroyed by the very horrors it helped create. Through the labyrinth of destruction, our heroes manage to evade the relentless pursuit of Nemesis, the monstrous bioweapon that has shadowed their every step. Their struggle for survival, fraught with danger at every turn, culminates in a daring escape from the doomed city. As they leave Raccoon City behind, the game draws to a close with an air of uncertainty. 
The Umbrella Corporation's secrets remain intact, hidden under layers of deception and manipulation. The survivors are left with the burden of their knowledge, their fight against the corporation far from over. As the dust settles on Raccoon City, a new chapter in the Resident Evil saga is set to unfold. In the aftermath of Raccoon City, the world is forever changed. We're left with the chilling images of Jill Valentine in a post-apocalyptic landscape, a stark reminder of the global scale of the T-virus outbreak. The fate of the city and its residents remains a haunting mystery, leaving us with a sense of dread and anticipation. This terrifying ordeal sets the stage for the events of subsequent Resident Evil games. As we leave the ruins of Raccoon City behind, we look forward to the horrors yet to come in the Resident Evil series.